Welcome Year 3s to an English lesson. We're going to be planning a comic strip today and uh, we're going to be using a, the end of a story map. We're going to be finishing that off so that we're really ready to get all our information that we need to get in there. Um, and it's going to be really lovely. We're going to start off with a spelling and punctuation and grammar starter. And this is punctuation and we are looking at uh, uh, inverted commas to show character speech so in other words if you are starting off a, um, a story with uh, uh, something that your character is saying you would use the uh, these little uh, punctuation marks uh, inverted commas they're called so I want you to add those to the correct places in the sentences below so the first one the example is this way and then there's a comma come quickly whispered Daedalus and you can see in that sentence that we have inverted commas um, and at the end so it's almost like it circles the the speech so the second uh, the first one I want you to have a look at is this one shall we jump off together inquired Icarus softly and then Icarus yelled one two three now and immediately jumped which the bit which are the parts that he actually says and then you can put your inverted commas around there not too close warned Daedalus as Icarus flew up and up so think about where you would put those speech marks in and pause the video and we would have them here and here so opening and closing there we would open here so they would be the 60 this 66 is there and they would be 99s here the end they go behind <coughs> excuse me they go behind the um, after the uh, exclamation mark in this one and here we would go open at the beginning because it's not too close and then we again go after the exclamation mark here okay and for a call starter today i want you to um, write these words out these are proper nouns so the names that we give to a particular person place or thing every person's name has a capital letter so your first name and your surname so i want you to copy these down into your uh, catch-up book or your paper and do capital letters for each of the beginning letter for those names and copy those in so you should have done that and they will be the uh, they're the right answers there so you've got the capital letters capital C P R P the P is above the line it has no part of capital letters no part of capital letters are for below the uh, the writing line obviously a p has a descender on the lower case so that's a real change there okay so today we're using a story map to help plan a comic strip <coughs> excuse me we're going to write a list of the settings i want you to write those down into your book as they appear so you're going to you need to order those five settings into how the correct order that they have happened at the starting ones at the top and the um, the final uh, the final setting at the end so pause the video and you can copy those in put them in the right order so I hope you've got those into the right order now and the other thing that you can do with these is you can add in your type conjunction so you can put in a few time conjunctions to help so it could be uh, you know at the very beginning of this myth or <coughs> at the very start or first of all um, we don't want any of the one one sunny day we've gone beyond that now um, you might want finally the sea uh, uh, finally he launched towards the sea so finally uh, next a long while later a few days later after months so there's lots of ways of moving your story forward using time conjunctions and we'll see if you've got the order right so this is 
the settings in the right order and you can use the pictures to help you to remember the myth and we're going to finish the story map um, you've got you should have a copy of that if you haven't got a copy of it um, pause the video and open that and have a look at it on, on whatever um, technology you're using um, so that would be a really good thing and then you're going to uh, finish off those last two settings so they're going to be the sky and the sea which is the very final part of this myth with poor old Icarus having made that proper, proper mistake of flying too near the sun and his wax melts and then he dis uh, he sort of the, the, the feathers and the wings disintegrate and he starts to fall and then you finally got your ending of your uh, of your myth so the path of this um, the path of your uh, plan today will help you um, through with your story map rather will help you to plan your comic strip because um, it will help you to get those into the right order and it will give you a really good vision of how you know how much of those comics you know how many of those uh, comic strip boxes you're going to use for which part of the story you don't want uh, you know all of the build up and don't and, and, and you've got to organize it so that you don't do all the build up on a tiny little ending you know the bit that the you know what's the most important part of this story it's the most exciting bit is, you know will he go too close to the sun or you know how's you know what's going to happen right at the end so don't run out of space or run out of time as well which is why we're planning for it these are in the right time order of the myth so if you follow the if you follow the story map of the settings it will give you the time uh, the timeline of the uh, of the story once these are on your map you can put in some speech marks um, sorry not speech marks you can add some character speech you can use your inverted commas but don't forget as well with the comic on your actual picture you can put a speech bubble so you don't have to worry about speech marks if you're writing it in at the bottom where you're actually putting the story in you're writing parts of the story you will need to use inverted commas so um but this will be really useful because you can plan out where you want speech. You don't want too much speech in it. You want to save it for the really important key bits of, uh, of speech. You know, like the, the, the warning that he shouldn't go clo too close to the sun, I would think would be a really good clear speech bubble. Um, and something that, uh, that you might want to put in. All of these ideas are going to help you make a plan that will work for you tomorrow so you can <coughs> pause the video now and you can complete those last two sections of the story map and this will really help you to get going with your story uh, your comic strip so each setting will be a place for your characters to be in when you write your comic strip you don't have to today draw these you can write down which setting it is um, you don't have to, you know, we're not expecting amazing super drawings today. There's no need for you to have perfect drawings, okay? Um, uh, so you you can write in what, what setting it is and then you can leave the drawing part for tomorrow. So here's an example of a comic strip plan. This is actually a plan that somebody's done and you can see it's not a great plan because what they've done is they've spent a lot of time drawing and not actually having got to the end of their plan so it's not been particularly useful but it was a really good one to see that you have got some idea bubbles and we have got some speech also they've done um, a different different type of um, different elements of this story because uh, all you know, there's a lot of myths that are uh, that are variations it's very you know they they vary um, so if we have a look at this one you can see that this section here has got an awful lot of information and perhaps that part of the story is um, would be better off split um, into two sections perhaps this one um, you know it's really difficult to see actually but it could be that there's um, there's too much information here um, that would be better off suited for you know like, like perhaps a little uh, exclamation from 
uh, Icarus or Daedalus here would move that story forward and we definitely need the ending. So too much time spent on that today. Obviously you're going to need to you know, keep those ideas um, for when you're actually doing your comic strip but um, I wouldn't spend too long on, on that today. Just it's a, it's almost, it is a plan. It's not your actual, uh, it's not a, your actual comic. So include speech in speech bubbles to remind you to do that in your comic. That's really useful. You can write notes in here. They don't have to be full sentences. Um, and then they're ready to make super sentences tomorrow. You can write some time conjunctions. You know, it doesn't matter where they are here. As long as you're reminding yourself to use those move your story along and some space for your tragic ending they have probably got enough space here but they just haven't finished it off so some really good storytelling in here build up that excitement for your reader will they really want to get to the end of this or are they going to think oh you know there's not much going on here i'm hearing you know you're describing the setting you're going to see the setting up the top here it's more about what the characters are feeling what they're um you know how it's making the reader feel in that story are they think feeling you know excited about it are they uh wondering what's going to happen to the characters do they feel sorry for the characters how are they going to uh, react to your story so here we go your um your must and your uh success criteria today you've got to complete your story map for those final parts of the myth so it's the uh the the sun section and the C section of the map okay there that's the, the probably the best bit of the story to be honest so you've left the best bits to your last in this story tragic you've got the tragic ending as well but um, definitely uh, you know the the, the, the the pinnacle of this story um, you're also going to need to make your comic strip plan today you could include your act the characters actions what's happening how they're feeling and some speech not over the top speech not too much speech is what I mean because if you have too much then your reader will start to get a little bit um, it's difficult to keep track of too much speech um, you'll need some time reductions to uh, move the story forward or slow it down and you can include some speech bubbles in that picture area of your plan if you need to. And that is it, oh, apart from to show you the plan. So this is the plan of your comic strip. When you're actually, when you've actually got the, uh, when you actually come to writing this comic strip, you will have exactly the same template. But obviously, you'll be filling it in like a comic rather than using it for a plan. So you will get another one of these uh, when it's when it comes to. To actually producing it so this is a you know this is a working copy a working document today it's not your final piece okay so i hope you get on all right with that today and uh, i really can't wait to see some of these if you've got some really nice ones and you're really proud of them send me a copy and uh, that would be great all right thank you hope that goes well